You ever see that guy at the grocery store who's like digging through the whole watermelon bin? He's like knocking on them and stuff. I'm that guy. And I must say, I do think that this one is going to be perfect. But the only way to know for sure whether it's going to be a good melon is what it sounds like when you give it a crack. Ooh. And of course, the only way to truly know for sure if it's a good watermelon is to give it a try. Ooh. It's magical. Ever since I first started eating healthy a few years ago, I really haven't stopped. I've been able to consistently eat healthy every single day for the last few years. So I thought it would be helpful to make this video to share with you guys exactly how I do it. And I think one of the most important things for consistently eating healthy is to have a plan. Because if you're like me, I used to just go to the grocery store, maybe I have some sort of meal in mind, and I would just kind of like shop for the ingredients willy-nilly, and just kind of like leave with whatever, maybe I'd forget something. But now I'm always sure to have a plan when I go grocery shopping. So I'll already know what meals I'm planning to make, and I'll already have the grocery list for those meals ready to go. So I'll show you kind of right now what I mean. Okay, so this is a little sneak peek into my grocery list shopping system that I have here. So these are the recipes I'm planning on making here, a vegetable stir fry and lentil chickpea bolognese. And then maybe we'll be doing a pizza at some point as well. And so this is just my shopping list. This is what I look at when I'm in the grocery store and it just makes sure that I get all the ingredients I need for each recipe. And then when I'm cooking, I have the actual, like my meal plan with actual recipes and the cooking instructions here. So yeah, this is just kind of like a short kind of preview of my meal plan system. I actually made an entire video explaining it in depth, which I'll link to up here. So if you're interested in learning more about this, then be sure to check that out. Okay, so I actually did my whole big grocery shop a couple of days ago. So now I have a fridge and freezer full of beautiful, healthy food which is what I'll be cooking today. So today I'm actually doing a really big meal prep. So I'm doing both the veggie stir fry and also a pasta dish as well. And so I'll be making probably close to about like 13 or 14 servings of food. And it'll take me quite, probably like four or five hours to cook all that food. And I always cook in batches like that because it just saves you so much more time. That way you're not like thinking every day about like what you're gonna eat. You already have food that's ready to go in the fridge or also the freezer because I do freeze some meals as well. And it just saves you so much time and it makes eating healthy a lot easier. And I think that's why a lot of people struggle to eat healthy is it can just be a lot harder and like it's more work. You have to like cook more and you have to like eat more meals from home and such. I remember back when I used to eat a lot more unhealthy, I would just go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of $5 pizzas and then I could just put those in the oven and I could do something else while it's cooking. And it was just like a lot less time and effort. Um, but the kind of downside of that is like after I'd eat the pizza, I'd be sitting on the couch and like I wouldn't really like get anything done. The food I ate kind of just made me feel like lazy and like, I guess like couch potato-y or whatever. And versus now the food that I eat, it really helps like energize me and make me more productive. And I do find that meal prepping is like absolutely crucial because if I was making these like fancy meals every single night, I'd be cooking so often and it would take up so much of my time. And so now I kind of do this about like once a week and where I really have like a big cook day and then maybe I'll have smaller cook days throughout the week as well where I make like things that take like 15 to 20 minutes, whether it's a salad dressing or just like prepping overnight oats or something like that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like a big thing to keep in mind as well is what's the like return on investment that you're going to get from investing this time into cooking the healthy food. And a big part of that is like feeling energetic, feeling good, pooping good, pooping is a big thing. <laughs> and then just like having the energy to like want to go out and do things after you eat is just a really big plus for me. So yeah.
These instant pots, by the way, are an absolute game changer. I use it to cook all my beans and rice and things like that. So a nice thing about it too is you can just set it and forget it and you can work on other things while it's cooking the food for you. So I'm actually gonna take advantage of the lovely Instant Pot and while it's cooking that, I'm just gonna go for a quick bike ride. I have an errand to run. And when we come back, I'll kind of talk a little bit about how to decide what is healthy food, like what is healthy eating, what particular foods to look for and things like that. Or at least I'll give my take on that because depending on who you ask, you can get wildly different answers. And yes, mom, I did get a helmet, so there's no need to worry about that. Few moments later. All right, so I did also want to briefly touch on how to decide what foods to eat and like how to know what healthy eating kind of looks like. This is a really controversial topic because everyone kind of shares their diets online and shares what they eat online. And it can be very confusing if you're just looking to start eating healthy and you can find like one person say, this is a healthy way of eating. And then someone else like eating completely opposite to that says, no, this is the healthy way of eating. And it can be really confusing. So something I did when I started eating healthy was I kind of like listened to my gut and my intuition, right? So, and that itself kind of pulled me away from the things like the junk foods or like the ultra processed foods, like chips and Oreos and stuff. And it kind of pulled me towards the more like whole foods like bananas and apples and melons and stuff like that. And then as you start eating those healthier foods, your body will kind of like tell you what it likes and like what it doesn't like. And you'll kind of like feel, you can get pulled away from the bad stuff and more towards the good stuff. So that's kind of like a real general way of doing it. And if you're really interested in particular types of foods, then I definitely recommend doing your own research on those types of foods. And when I say your own research, I don't mean like just type into Google and finding someone talking about it. Like actually look at the nutrition studies on those foods and learn how to read those studies because there's a whole world of nutrition science that's available to us and there's almost too much of it that it can become very confusing because a lot of this nutrition science is uh, funded by different industries that have different uh, incentives, let's say, right? And so they'll have, they'll try to make like whatever product they sell look really good in the nutrition science. So it's really important to find out like who funded this study, how was the study designed? And that can also teach you a lot if you're interested about a specific food. So that's all I'll say on that topic. Me personally, I kind of found that a whole food plant-based diet was a direction that I wanted to take when I started eating healthy. And that's really what I've stuck with. And I have made some minor changes or tweaks just listening to my body and stuff. Like I definitely eat way more fruit now than I used to in when I first started out. And that was just listening to my body. The more fruit I ate, the kind of better I felt. So I just kind of gravitated towards that. And yeah, just diversity is also really important, right? Just eating a wide variety of foods. So yeah, that's all I'll say on that topic. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish cooking these up and then I'll show you what it looks like when all the meals are all prepped out, ready to go. So I'm just making some pasta right now and I put all these spices in the pasta. I put oregano, basil, Italian seasoning and some red pepper chili flakes. And when I started eating healthy, I didn't quite realize just how healthy spices are. So it also not only just makes your food taste amazing, but it's also really good for you as well. So I thought I'd share that with you guys also. Alright, so that is the pasta meal prep that's done. I was able to get five full servings plus a six for myself and then one for my girlfriend as well. And so this turned out really good. I love this. I'm going to add some hot pepper chili flakes and some uh, vegan parmesan on top of it and enjoy it now. And that's another big thing about eating healthy is that it's not like you don't have to enjoy your food anymore. Like you can make the food exactly the way that you like it the right spices and everything so that you could really enjoy it. Eating healthy doesn't have to be boring at all. So as you can tell, this is like a really complex sauce. Might not, might not look like the most appealing thing, but it's, uh, it's what I enjoy. So yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like what eating healthy is kind of like all about is just like meal prepping, enjoying the food that you're eating. And that way you can continue to do it consistently. You don't feel like you're missing out or anything like that.
So yeah, I'm actually not gonna make the stir fry tonight. Um, I did kind of run out of time. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like kind of make this quick video, hopefully inspire some of you guys that if, you're, if you wanna start eating healthy or if you're struggling to keep eating healthy, um, hopefully sharing some of these tips with you guys might help. So yeah, that's about it. If you want, if you're interested in like what I eat in an entire day, I made a whole video about that that you can check out right up here. And other than that, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace. Thank you.